Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Okay. Let's uh, let's wait one minute for our for our friends. Uh, who wants to tell us a little bit about themselves? Who wants to go? Tell us a little bit about you, your profession. What do you do? Why are you studying English? Who wants to go? Hmm? ¿Alguien quiere presentarse para conocerlo? Come on, don't be shy. Para eso estamos aquí, ¿verdad? To speak English, come on. Okay. Okay, Rosibel, you want to tell us a little bit about you? Hi, my name is Rosibel. I work to Tecnoavance, at Tecnoavance. Okay. I like learn English. Okay. Hello? Same. Okay, very, very good. Um, let's see, what, what do you like to do for fun, Prosivan? What are your hobbies? Uh, read the Bible. Okay. And I go to the beach. Okay. Watch the movie. Good job. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Another person who wants to go. Another go. person. Uh huh. Okay, I'll go. Well, my name is Eric Celada. I work at SEPA. Uh, well, last week I have some issues with uh, the. The audio and also with the internet but uh, this week I'm studying right now and I guess I know some guys of the group uh, I work at SEPA in a department called operations okay. I've been working for SEPA for uh, 20 years I like to do as hobbies I like to do jogging and uh, also go to the gym and do some uh, aerobics okay. and uh, I'm studying English because I like I would like to speak English as I speak in Spanish. So that's that's my goal. Okay, so you would like to be fluent in English? Yes, I would like to be fluent. Okay, good job. Okay, one more person. Somebody else wants to go? One more person? Okay, go. Okay, my name is Andy. Actually, I am working in a call center, and my goal with these classes is so that I can learn more English, I can have a fluent English, so that I can, uh, so that I can have a, a position with the, with the, with the English, because okay. right now I am, I am in a, in accounting in Spanish, I'm working for, uh, Aerolinea okay. for airline, sorry. And I know that with the English, you can have more opportunity too, so that you can get more money. Okay, very good. Okay, very good, let's, let's get going, okay? Let's get started. So, uh, right now in this class, we are in section number two. Section number two, right? So, uh, yesterday, uh, yesterday, Thursday, we studied gerunds and infinitives. Okay. Who remembers what is a gerund? What is a gerund? Se acuerdan la lección del jueves? Y si no estuvieron, conect si no estuvieron conectados, espero que han visto los videos. Sí. Okay, what is a gerund? I'm sorry, go. It's a verb plus ing. Mm -hmm. It's a verb plus ing, okay? 
So, entonces, ¿es un verbo? No. No. Sí o no. Sí es un verbo, pero no se usa como un verbo. All right, so. It's a verb that is not used as a verb. Yes, very good. It's a verb that is not used as a verb. Very good. So, a gerund is a verb plus ing that is not used as a verb, but rather is used as a what? As a subject, subject. Or, or, an object. Subject or an object. Or an object. Very good. Okay. So, vamos a explorar el uso de subjects. ¿Cómo podemos usar un gerund como subject? Y después vamos a ver objects. Okay. So, do you remember the subjects, ver, uh, gerunds? Okay. A gerund can be used as a subject of a sentence. It is always singular. Okay. For example, I say here, voting is an important responsibility. Okay. So, voting es un verbo con ing, sí. ¿Lo estoy usando como un verbo? No. ¿Cuál es el sujeto de esta oración? Voting. Voting. Mm -hmm. Voting is an important responsibility. Now, remember, remember that we said something very important. Gerunds are always at the beginning. I'm sorry. Gerunds as subjects are always at the beginning of the sentence. Okay? Siempre va a estar el, el inicio de la oración. Si lo usamos como sujeto. Uh, number two, choosing a candidate takes time. Choosing, is it a verb, ing, bueno, sí, pero no lo estoy usando así. Sino que este, este es la, la, el, el sujeto de mi oración, subject, okay. el tema, el tema, exacto. exacto. Okay, very good, okay, very good. Man. Perfect. Now, let's look at gerunds as objects. Gerunds as objects of certain verbs. Now, ¿se acuerdan la clave, la, la fórmula que les di? Los que estuvieron en la clase y los que han visto el video. ¿Se acuerdan la, la fórmula? V. V. V to B. To B. Es decir, si yo tengo dos verbos en inglés, tengo que modificar el segundo en este caso. Aquí. También puedo hacer una modificación con infinitives. Pero eso, eso ya lo vamos a ver después. So, do you remember? For example, I have suggest. Suggest is a verb. And improving is a verb. So, entonces yo tengo dos verbos aquí. Tengo que modificar el segundo. Con ing. Okay. For example, I suggest improving our schools. The object is improving their schools, okay? Now, entonces, ¿cuál es mi subject de esta oración? Ya está aquí. I. Aquí ya tengo sujeto. Entonces, tiene que ser objeto. Okay. Now, the next example. I enjoy working for the people. So, I have enjoy, tengo un verbo, y tengo otro verbo a la par, lo cual me obliga a modificar el segundo verbo. Working. What is my subject? I. Entonces ya tengo, ya tengo subject ahí. Ok. Lo único que me queda es el object. I enjoy working for the people. Ok. I enjoy for the people. Yo disfruto trabajar para otras personas. Yes, yes, but no te acostumbres a traducir. Quédate con el inglés. <laughs> Stay with the English. Stay with the English. Okay? All right, very good. So, let's, let's think in English. Okay? Let's see. Can I use this in English? Yes, of course I can use this. All right, so look, let me erase this. How can I use this in English? Eh, ¿Quién vio el video de esta sección? De la lección de gerunds and infinitives. ¿Alguien vio el video? ¿No? ¿Nadie ha visto el video? ¿Nadie ha visto el video de esta sección? Ok. Ok, algunas personas sí. Ok, very good, very good. 
All right. Yes, remember, you have to see the video and you have to finish uh, the video on the platform. Okay, so the video on the platform had some, uh, some, some vocabulary for us to use. For example, you say, I like. Uh, let me make it bigger. For example, the video in the platform say, I like. Excuse me. I like. Okay. I enjoy. Okay. Uh, I hate. I don't like. Okay. So, este tipo de palabras son frases en las que estábamos usando, right? So, uh, tell me something that you like doing, and I want you to use a gerund. Use a gerund. I like. I, I, I like playing video games. Very good. Very good. Like is a verb. Play is a verb. Entonces tengo que modificar el segundo verbo, all right? Very good. I enjoy. Tell me uh, a gerund. Use an ed a gerund. I enjoy swimming at the sea. Very good. A, Swimming in the sea, puede ser, o también podemos decir mejor, in the beach. Ok, in the beach. Es que sea, sí, se entiende que es el mar abierto, es el pacífico, right? So, beach is where we like to play in the water. Ok, very good. Next, I hate. I hate driving in the rain. Very good. I hate driving in the rain. Excellent. Very good. I don't like. I don't like. Eating alone. I don't like eating alone. Yeah, very good. Excellent. See? Perfect. Perfect. Now, eh, ¿qué pasa si lo quiero usar? Estos gerunds los usamos como qué? Object or subjects? Object, they were object. objects. Objects, todos eran objects, ok? Objects. So, hagamos uno con subject, ok? For example, you can say, le voy a dar la palabra. Studying. Finish. Studying English is awesome. Very good. Studying English is awesome. Ok, very good. ¿Cuál es mi sujeto en esa oración? My subject, what is my subject? Studying. Studying. Excellent. Subject. Ok. And I'm using ING. Very good. Ok. All right, so, es prácticamente lo que hicimos. Ok. So, let's see. I have some examples here. You can see. Number, lo voy a hacer más grande. Do you see? Uh, en realidad, este no es solo un ejercicio, sino son dos partes. But let's see. Maybe we can do the first one. Let me read the sentence for you. Okay. The sentence says, number two, well, number one, but veamos el ejemplo. Eating lots of vegetables is important for good health. Lo estoy usando como subject or object? Gerunds, subject or object? Subject. 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 Very good. Todos estos van a ser subject, right? Number two, blank a parking spot is difficult in the mornings. Finding. Good. Find, finding. 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 Alguien dijo finding. Buscando. Getting. Ah? Getting, somebody, alguien dijo getting, very good, también. Yes, getting. Getting a parking spot is difficult in the morning. Finding okay. a parking spot is difficult in the morning. Very good. Number three, blank to work is a great way to get some exercise. 
Les voy walking a dar los... Walking to work. Walking. Walking. Very good. Walking. Walking to work is a great way to get some exercise. Ajá. Uh -huh. y, y, y si quiero decir um, riding your bicycle to work is a great way to get some exercise. Okay. Very good. Yes. Number four, blank books and magazines can help you learn English. Reading. 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 Very good. Reading. Books and magazines can help you learn English. Excellent. Excellent. And number five, hasta allí vamos a llegar. Number five, blank is fun. I love making dinner for my friends. Cooking. 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 Cooking is fun. I love making dinner for my friends. Very good. So, eh, regresando al cuadrito de los gerunds. Gerunds is objects. Están siempre en medio de la oración. Y están después de, de un verbo. Sería el segundo verbo. Um, and we have gerunds as subject of the sentence. Okay. Very good. So, la, algunos ya vieron el video, ok. No lo, no lo voy a poner aquí porque es como ocho minutos de largo. Eh, podríamos enfocar en, en, la, en otra sección. Tengo otra lección para ustedes. Ok. ¿Por dónde van en la plataforma? Where are you in the platform? Eh, put it in the chat. Tell me, what section are you in? For example, teach, eh, poneme 2.5, 1.5, put, put it on the chat. Okay, very good. Very good, okay. ¿Qué más? Where are you? In the chat, put it. Number three, 2.0, 2.3, 2.2, very good. Okay, 2.5, excellent. Ok, very good. So, estamos allí. Eh, esta semana quisiera terminar las dos y terminar ahí como en las tres y al 3.5. Ok. All right, very good. So, let's go to the next section. Um, personality types. Ya hicimos ese ejercicio. Muchas personas me mandaron el audio de D Feedback. Ok. Para, para mejorar la área de speaking. Uh, gerunds and phrases, gerunds as subject, gerunds as objects, ese es el que acabamos de hacer. Uh, pueden hacer el 2.4, which is the knowledge check, okay? Do this exercise. Uh, si tienen preguntas, me escriben, okay? Let's go to 2.6, this section, okay? Let's go to 2.6. So let me, let me give you my explanation and then We'll do the exercise. Uh, let me see. I just want to see something. Mm, okay. All right. Let's go to the exercise. The presentation that I have for you, se llama Comparison Adjectives and Nouns. Comparison Adjectives and Nouns. Okay. Who remembers comparatives? Esto de los niveles anteriores. ¿Se acuerdan los comparatives? Yes? Yes. yes. Ok. Yes. All right. So, hay dos. Eh, existe el comparative y el superlative. Ok. Eh, for this exercise, only for, for this exercise, vamos a tomar lo que ya sabemos del comparativo y lo vamos a expandir. Superlatives, no. So let's focus on comparatives. For example, remember, I have to have an adjective. Empiezo con el adjetivo. Young, fast, I'm sorry, fast. What is my comparative? Faster. 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 Young. Younger. 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 Okay. Now, todos estos tienen un syllable. ¿Se acuerdan lo que es un syllable? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Ya vamos a ver eso más, más en detalle. Nice. What's my comparative? Nice. 
Nicer. Nicer. Strange. Stranger. 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 Now, here I have a big comparative. Bigger. 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 Hot. Hotter. 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 Very good. Um, now, ¿qué pasa cuando termine con una Y, cuando termine con una Y? Yeah. Happy. Se cambia por ahí. Happier. Happier. I change the Y to a I and I add I... ER. Crazy. 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 Very good. Now, aquí viene el truco. What happens when I have two syllables? Two syllables. Only add more. More. Very good. Very good. So, ¿cuáles palabras eh, tienen two syllables? For example, famous. Two. Hay dos more. quiebres ahí. Famous. So, I say more famous. famous. Beautiful. I have three syllables. So, I say more beautiful. Ok. ¿Preguntas ahí? No. Solo estamos repasando, ¿verdad? Algo que ya ustedes ya han visto, han visto en el pasado. Ok, now, what happens when I have uh, irregular adjectives? For example, good. No digo gooder. No, ¿verdad? What do I say? Better. 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 Bad, no digo better, no, I say worse. Worse. All right, excellent. So remember that. ¿Preguntas sobre este no. repaso? No. No, sorry. no. Very good. Okay. So, esta es la base para lo que vamos a hacer. The next exercise in the, in the platform that's there. Uh, comparison adjectives. Uh, uh, with adjectives. With Vamos adjectives. a hacer dos. Comparison with adjectives and comparison with nouns. Okay? So, vamos a hacer dos. Adjetivos y nouns. Let's do adjectives first. In the video, you're going to see that you can use the following structures. Comparison adjectives first. You can use more than, less more than, than, better than, Worse than, as, as, not as, and as, okay? Ya vamos a llenar esos espacios. So, uh, for example, I have two uh, professions here, two occupations. One person is a lawyer, and then oh, yeah. the other person is a mechanic. Okay? Mechanic. ¿Alguien es abogado aquí? Lawyer? No? Yes, no. I'm, I'm a lawyer. Oh, okay, all right, good. And then, is, do, we, do we have a mechanic here? Yeah. Okay, good, mechanic, excellent. So, uh, you can give me an opinion here. Vamos a usar, vamos a usar la... Automatic mechanic. Ajá, vamos a usar esta estructura to talk about more than, better than, whatever. Now. Quiero que noten algo. Todos estos que están al inicio son, eh, son adjetivos. More, less, better, worse, adjectives. Adjectives. So, lo primero que voy a poner es el adjective. All right? Very good. Let's go back to the example. Lawyer versus a mechanic. You can say opinions. Working as a lawyer is more stressful than working as a mechanic. It can be, it's an opinion, okay? Or working as a mechanic is more stressful than working as a lawyer. Al revés. Okay? What do you think? ¿Quién era el abogado? I am a lawyer. Okay. Uh, Ricardo, uh, what do you think? That your job is more stressful 
than a mechanic or a mechanic's job is more stressful than yours? I think, think that I think that working as a lawyer is more stressful than working as a mechanic. Okay, in my very opinion. good. In your opinion, yeah, I can know yes. No, there's no right and wrong. It's just just sharing opinions. Okay, ¿y quién dijo que era mecánico? Who's a mechanic? What? Asu? Así se dice tu nombre. Asu? Así se dice? No, uh, it's my girlfriend's computer. Ah, okay. Um, what my is name your name? Is Jose. Jose, okay, very good. Uh, Jose, you might have another opinion, and tú puedes, puedes decir lo siguiente. Working as a mechanic is more stressful than working as a lawyer. That can be your opinion. Okay. Um, now, I am not uh, a lawyer, so I cannot give an yeah. opinion if. Okay. Only your being only, a mechanic only, is more stressful. Only an opinion. Okay. Now, quiero que vean algo. Por qué uso aquí more than? Porque estoy comparando. Es decir, más que, menos que, okay? That's what I'm saying. So I'm comparing, okay? And what do I have? I have an adjective, okay? ¿Dónde está mi adjective? Aquí está. Stressful. This is my adjective, okay? Very good. So, puedo usarlo en negativo también. Working as a lawyer is not as stressful as working as a mechanic. Okay, so, ¿cuál es la estructura? Comparative, adjective, comparative. Recuerden eso, repeat. Comparative, adjective, comparative. That's the formula. Okay, now, trátenlo ustedes, sin mi ayuda. What can you tell me? Ahí le, les puse un ejemplo, pero ustedes pueden cambiar ese ejemplo. What do you think? You have... Two jobs, um, a gardener or a receptionist. ¿Qué pueden comparar? ¿Qué me pueden decir de los dos trabajos? What can you tell me, comparing? Working as, as a gardener is less dangerous than working as a receptionist. Mm, yo creo que es al revés lo que quieres decir. Right. Right? So, ¿Cuál es más peligroso? Sorry. Ajá, ya, 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 ya entendiste, ¿verdad? So, very good. So, say it correctly. How would you say it correctly? Working as a working garden as a mm -hmm. is more it, dangerous. It's more dangerous mm -hmm. than working as a receptionist. Very good, Alex. And that's your opinion, and that's good. Okay. Okay, working as a garden gardener is harder than working as a receptionist. Yo creo que sí, ¿verdad? Oh. It's more physical work, right? Oh. Yes. Okay. Very good. Let's go to the next one. Tell me. What can you what can you tell me here? You can use dangerous, como usó sure. Alex anteriormente, or you can use another another adjective. What what can you tell me about a fireman and a doctor? Working as a doctor is less dangerous than working as a fireman. Very good, very good. Eh, allí, José, ¿va? Allí, yes. fu fuiste tú que me hice ese ejemplo. No, yo, ah, no. It, it, it was me, Ricardo. Ah, Ricardo, I'm sorry. Okay, Ricardo me dio un buen ejemplo. Ricardo, can you repeat that, please? Yes, of course. Uh, I said that working as a doctor is less dangerous than working as a fireman. Yes, I think so, right? Maybe ahora con el corona, coronavirus, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> right. I don't think so. <laughs> Now it's more dangerous working as a doctor, right? But very, very good comparing, very good comparing. Alguien más, another comparing that we can do? Think about it. Lo primero que tienen que buscar un, un adjetivo. I want to use an adjective. Dangerous. Mm. A longer, harder, more difficult. I have to use an adjective. Working as a doctor is not as risky as working as a fireman. Okay, very good, very good. 
So let me write that example, okay? Working as a doctor is not as riskier, risky as working as a fireman. Yeah? Yeah, very good, very good. Okay, very, very good. This is, this is difficult, but I know you can do it. Okay, let's go to another example. Okay, tengo varias profesiones aquí. Okay, I have different professions here. Who can give me one example? Tienen que tomar dos, es decir, comparar dos. Let's, let's repeat the professions. Number one, repeat, waiter. 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 Like, like maybe you work, yeah, in, waiter. maybe you work in La Pampa. Right, or maybe you work for a, a nice restaurant, San Martin. Um, paramedic, repeat. Paramedic. 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 Example. Paramedic. Here, do we have examples here in El Salvador? Yes. Like ro Red, Red Cross. Cross. Red Cross. Yes. Red Cross. Very good. Dentist. 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 Train conductor. Train conductor. Train conductor. We don't have that here in El Salvador, right? No. No. Okay. no. Hey, but you have another many, profession. Many years. Bus driver. Bus driver. Bus driver. Okay, very good. Another one. Nurse. 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 Electrician. 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 Doctor. 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 Businessman. 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 A translation can be that we use here in El Salvador is empresario. You can say businessman. Okay. Businessman. Hay, hay otras traducciones más, más exactas, más? pero en general you can say businessman. Okay. American football player. American, American football, football player. player. Or you can say just soccer player or football player. Soccer player. ¿Cómo football se dice player. atleta? Athlete. 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 Student. 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 Surgeon. 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 Doorman. 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 Aquí no tenemos casi doorman. I don't remember. Okay. No. Now, los otros ya no me quedo espacio, but uh, say, we're going to give her an occupation. Teacher. 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 Soldier. 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 Mechanic. Mechanic. Scientist. Scientist. Reporter. 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 Construction worker. Construction worker. Okay, very good. Ready? Construction worker. Now, antes que, antes que vayamos a la speaking activity, vamos a hacer el último que es comparative eh. now. Ya vamos a ir a la speaking activity, okay? Comparative with nouns. Comparative with nouns is, let me do it. Comparative with nouns is lo mismo. Solamente que en vez de un adjetivo vamos a usar un noun. For example, working as a doctor has more benefits than working as a fireman. Okay? It's the same thing. Lo único que en vez de un adjective vamos a poner un noun. Okay? Uh, so, you ready for the speaking activity? Vamos a tomar esta foto. Se la voy a mandar en WhatsApp. Let's go to groups now. Okay? And we're going to compare. We're going to compare uh, different occupations. Speaking. Ready? Let's go to small groups. Groups of three. Go to the invitation, please, in Zoom. And then look at the picture that I'm sending you in what's up
Hi, how are you? Hi, Carlos Mil. Very fine. Okay, so we have the picture in our phones. Okay, you guys are ready? Yes. Okay, yes. now, las ocupaciones, ustedes, ustedes pueden elegir cualquier cual quieren comparar. So, recomiendo que cada persona tome dos y diga, I'm going to compare a doctor and a teacher. I think that, and then you give your opinion. Okay. All right, very good. Go. All right, I'm going to take um, nurse and uh, dentist. Okay, very good. You guys are ready? Yeah. Now, yeah. Uh, you can compare whatever you want. So, for example, uh, voy yo, yo digo, I'm going to compare a teacher and a doctor. I think that a teacher is more stressful than a doctor. Okay? My opinion. Okay? So, I want you to select two and compare. Okay. Okay. Go. Mm. Using ER or, oh. uh, for example, the as soon as. Whatever you want. Uh, for example, I am going to start with the first one. Um, be uh, working as a, a businessman is more profitable than working as a. Uh, teacher, I don't know. That's an, an example. Okay, okay good. Good job. Get it. Okay. Um, for example, a bicycle is slower than a car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but remember, estamos comparando occupations. En la, oh, foto right. que, la foto que mandé en WhatsApp. So, tú tienes que elegir do, dos occupations, two professions that you see there. And for example, I'm going to take a, a, uh, a scientist and a mechanic. I think that you have to have more education as a scientist than a mechanic. Okay, I get it. Um, okay, George. Well, si tú quieres, nos puedes dar otro ejemplo, porque creo que eh, tú nos puedes ayudar. Tú le puedes ayudar a José. Alejandra, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's hear an example from Alejandra. And um, I think that uh, working as an electrician is more difficult than doorman. Yes, very good. Okay. Excellent. So, Jose, you can use the same example, compare two occupations. I'm going to give you the adjective, dangerous. Okay. Um, working as an electrician is more dangerous than working as a, a businessman. Okay, good, good job, excellent. So, ese mismo ejemplo que hiciste solo cambia el adjetivo. Uh, change it to another adjective or noun. Okay. All right, very good. So, let's go, let's continue. Go, practice. Yes. yes, maybe like um, work like um, reporter. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, but at this no. time it's not probably. No. Okay. Um, working as a waiter or working as a waiter 
is more stressful than working as a businessman. Very good, excellent. Okay. Good job, Omer. Okay. 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 Working as engineer, uh, working as engineer, has more benefits than working as bus training. I say bus driver. Okay, very good. Okay. 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 Sara, are you there? Working. Hi. Yes, I'm here. Okay. Working, Go for it. Working as an American football player has more funny <laughs> most fun mm -hmm. most fun than a doorman. Okay, all right. Okay, excellent. Okay. You have more Working. girls. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. More money. <laughs> work, <laughs> working 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 as a singer has more uh fun. More fun or funny teacher? Eh, fun como diversión o chistoso? Yes. No, uh, like, así como diversión. Oh, has more fun or have more fun? Okay, so uh, working as a, as a singer has it's not, more fun. It's, it's funner. Funner sería la palabra. Funner. It's funner. Mm -hmm. All right. So working as a singer is funner than working as a nurse. Okay. Good job. Okay. Uh, working as football soccer player isn't as stressful as working as a student. Okay. okay. Very good. Okay. Now, le voy a dar una, something that you can do. Okay. Uh, okay. You can say, uh, aquí estamos usando la frase working as, a, right? But not necessarily, you can go directly and you can compare two occupations. For example, a teacher uh, is, is richer. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to say richer. Is, yeah. <laughs> eh, no terminé la oración, le di click. All right, otra, voy a intentarlo otra vez. A, let me see, I need to make it more. A doctor is richer <laughs> than a teacher. No lo pude hacer porque ya no me dio el espacio. Estoy tratando de escribir en la pantalla de Sara. Okay, but you, you understand, right? Yes. You want? I can stop the, the assertion and you No, 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 dale. Search, yeah? No, dale, porque yo tengo que ir a otro grupo para, para monitorear los grupos. Okay. 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 No. okay. Lo que quería escribirle siempre, you can go directly to the comparative. You can say, uh, a doctor makes more money than a teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, in order to don't, don't be just with a, a structure or like a robot, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Con tal que uses more than, okay. that's it. Okay. Danger? Okay. Danger. What? Dan student. Dan being a student. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me try to do another one. I think that I give you I'll give you an example. Use okay. happier. Happier. Okay. More happier. For example, King Emma Feliz, who do you think is more happy? Uh, uh maybe a teacher or an engineer? The teacher. Okay, mm -hmm. so how do you say it using the comparative? The teacher is more happier 
tan ingenier. Yes, very good. Ahí está. Ahí está. Okay. Then you can change the adjective. Happier, eh, more depressed, <laughs> eh, depressing, uh, sadder, más triste. Mm. You can change it. You can change the 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 adjective. A eh, rich, rico. <laughs> I think uh, a scientist yeah. is richer. Mm -hmm. I think, I think, uh, yeah, working as a detective earn less money than working as a doctor. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, I'll give you another one that you can use. You can use happier. Quien es más feliz? Happier. Okay. For example, happier. Working as a pirate. Pirate is happier than. Uh, Working as a doorman. Okay. Okay, very good. Very good. Uh, a, another adjective. Think about another adjective that you can use. Another adjective that you can use. Tiene que pensar de adjective. What do you think? What about richer? ¿Quién es más rico? What do you think? ¿Quién tiene más dinero? What do you think? Wealthier. Hope. Hmm? Ok, quiero que me den los ejemplos que ya han visto, que ya han podido ustedes sacar. Give me some examples. Well, for example, uh, working as a doctor has more advantages that, than working as a nurse. Very good. Yes, that's a good one. Ok. Working What else? Working as a pope has more responsibility than working as a priest. Okay. ¿Cuál es la primera? Working as a what? Pope. Pope. A pope. Un papa. Yeah, pope. Ah, yes. the pope. Working as the pope. Working as the pope has more responsibilities than working as a priest. Okay. Very good. All right. Another one would be the doctors are are happier than the than the nurses. <laughs> ah, yes, that can be a good opinion. The doctors are happier than the nurses. Very good. Excellent. Detectives are richer than uh, electricians. Okay. Very good. Okay, all right, excellent. Businessman, the business, working as a businessman is busier than working as a, um, I'm sorry. Well, let's see. Working as a boxer. Dormant. Is, okay. Oh, yeah. Working okay. At, working as a boxer is a fascinator, fascinating than working as a doorman. More fascinating. More fascinating. Uh -huh, porque esa fascinating tiene more than more two than syllables. Mm -hmm, so we use more. Yes. Okay.
Yeah. Wor working as a mechanic is less stressful than working as a salesman. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. We're going to go back now to the session. Okay. Okay. Hi, Andrea. Okay, very good. So we're back. Uh, did you do several examples? Okay. Who wants to go? Le, give me some examples. Deme uno cada uno. Let me call on three, three or four people. Uh, Alex, you're going to give me one. Eric, uh, Sara, and Stephanie. Okay. Give me okay. in this order. one example. Uh -huh. Alex, Eric, Sara, Stephanie. The same order. Okay. I'm going. I think that working as a businessman businessman is more profitable than working as a mechanic. Very good. Very good. The the pronunciation, Alex? Profitable. Profitable. Mm -hmm. Very okay, good. Okay, uh, Eric. Working as a doorman is not as stressful than working as a salesman. Okay, very good. Sara? Okay, working as a football player, football soccer player, is more is funnier than work like a dog. As like a doorman. Okay, okay. Eh, te, te escuché un poquito así de lejos, pero yo creo que es el, la conexión. Sorry, it's, it's my, it's, it's the place that I am, that, I, that okay. I am. Working as a soccer player is funnier than working as a dormant. Like Very good. Dormant. Excellent. Stephanie. Okay, um, working as a nurse is more helpful than working as a singer, in my opinion. Yes, very good. Okay, let's finish with the, with this exercise. Look at the pictures uh, that I have here, the professions that I have. Uh, okay, I have two. What do you think? What can you tell me about these two professions? Uh, like a comparison? Yeah, com comparing. Comparison. Comparing adjectives. You can use adjectives or you can use nouns. What do you think? Comparing a police officer and a teacher. Working, uh, as, working a as a teacher. Sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Sorry. Sorry. Go Eric, go. No. You okay, can go. Sorry. You can go, Eric, and then and después. No sé quién, quién iba a ir después. Uh, so Eric, go, and then the next person. Working as a teacher is more sociable than working as a, a police officer. Okay. All right. Very good. Next, who was going to go? Can you ahí después escuché la voz de 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 una señorita? No sé quién era. Can you ahí Working as a teacher is mm -hmm. less. Dangerous than working less uh, oh, uh, a policeman. Okay, okay. Who else? Another one? What can you tell me? Comparing. Think about uh, happier. Working the teacher is enjoy, enjoy the police. Eh, perdón, working as a teacher is enjoy. Enjoy, ahí te, esa, esa tiene dos sílabos, entonces, ¿qué tengo que hacer antes? Enjoy. No, more enjoyable. More. Uh -huh. more. Enjoy. No le escucho, Rosy. The police. The police. Ah, ok. Estaba un poquito más la conexión ahí que tenía, pero. Eh, 
Ok, está bien. Let's go to the next picture. Perdón. Let's go to the next one. What can you tell me about this? These occupations. Compare. Ok. Ok, vamos. Va, antes que termine, ya vamos a terminar. Two more minutes. Creo que se les olvidó un poquito y tienen que estudiar un poquito los adjectives. Ok. So, do you remember which ones we use? More than, less than, better than, worse than, not as. Ok. Now, adjectives that we can use. Look at this. Stressful, fantastic, fascinating, difficult, easy, interesting, dangerous. Okay. So let's go. Let's go to the picture. ¿Cuál era? Esta. Okay. A doctor working is a doctor. or working as a doctor, huh? It's less dirty, or the dirty, 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 dirty. Less dirty, dirty. To get it. Dirty. Easy. Okay, less dirty than working like a. Or, uh, sorry. Hey, to get it easy, eh, sucio, but, verdad? <laughs> yes. Sí, because when you can watch, uh, I remember a, a TV show that is the dirty work. Ah, okay. Okay. So, dirtier. So, the, the word that you want to use, the adjective, es un adjetivo correcto, es dirty. Dirty, dirty works. Perdón, con una I. Dirty. Dirty, so, yes. ¿Cuántas syllables tiene esta palabra? Two. Two. So, what do I have Dirtier. to do? Dirtier. More. No, I have to use more. More dirty. More dirty. 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 More dirty. Eh, perdón, more dirty. no. More dirty. <laughs> more dirty. More dirty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, más sucio. So, es, era un doble, es que era demasiado sucio, por eso iba a ser un doble de exageración. <laughs> no, sorry, sorry. Ok, y, y en tu <laughs> opinión, ¿cuál es más sucio? ¿Cuál trabajo es más sucio? <laughs> In your uh, opinion. the doctors, so the doctors you, all time, the doctors okay. all time. I needed to visit uh, an hospital. <laughs> okay, so in your opinion, <laughs> okay, so how do you oh, say? Como compararía eso? Nice. Finish the sentence. Uh, working as a doctor is more stressful than working as a, an architect. <laughs> okay, construction worker. A construction worker. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, very good, very good. So, um, very good. In this exercise, what you can do is uh, let me get out of here. Que pueden hacer es ver el video. For what section? This is section 2.6, comparison adjectives, okay? Tomorrow we're going to see 2.7, comparison with verbs and participles. So, comparisons with uh, adjectives and nouns, okay? Pueden ver este video, eh, prácticamente es eh, una explicación de lo que acabamos de hacer. Algunos lo tienen que ver porque no les quedó muy claro, okay? Y algunos se los olvidó cómo hacer comparativos, okay? Remember, two syllables, you use more than. All right, very good. Questions? Questions for homework? For homework? Entonces queda 2.6, 2.7. Okay. 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 All right, okay. excellent. If you have any questions, let me know. Watch the videos and do the exercises okay okay thank you so much okay, thank you thank you all right we'll see you tomorrow yeah. then okay have a good night see you tomorrow